Hi guys, welcome back to Triumph London. My name is Angus and I'm here to introduce you to the Tiger 660 Sport. Some of the key features of this bike, obviously, is power ratio. So you're at 61 PS power, which is about an 80 brake horsepower. It shares the same engine as the Trident, so it's a 660 triple. It has the latest generation ABS and traction control, which are both switchable. Componentry-wise, on your front forks, you have the Showa forks, along with the Nissan brake calipers, so it's plenty of suspension and handling. Really helps with those commuting rides or even those long little tours you want to do on a Sunday afternoon. As I'm sure you guys are well aware, there's many different Tigers within the range. You've got the big bike, the Tiger 1200, which Triumph have just released a new model for. Coming down from that, you've got the Tiger 900 range. From that, you've got the Tiger 850, and then obviously the Tiger 660. So this is the entry model to the range. It is also one of the most affordable to the range and there are so many accessories on this bike if you wanted to kit it up as well. So I was lucky enough today on this lovely sunny afternoon to take the bike out around London. You've got plenty of power for it. With its 80 brake horsepower, it's quick up on the pickup on the throttle. It's nice and light and with its wheelbase, it's extremely flickable. So what I mean is obviously when you're turning left and right, you feel the bike um, switching between lanes and even in London, being able to filter through traffic. Brakes are nice and responsive. You've got plenty of biting feel throughout and gradual braking. The gears are well positioned. You can cruise along at 20 miles an hour, which pretty much London is, in third gear, just idling along, taking in the pictures of the sights. Um, on my little trip, I passed Big Ben, London Eye, Scotland Yard, and just a few bits by the river. So I took it out in London today, but if you were to take it outside of the city, this bike would be amazing. Okay, with its gearbox, going up through the gears, cruising along, whether you're going through twisty A roads, short motorway trips, or even those long tours up to Scotland, this bike is capable of doing it all. Imagine yourself on the twisty A roads, being able to flip left to right, go around hairpin bends. The bike is so responsive, reliable, you know what's going on with the bike underneath you. It really outperforms some of the other bikes within its class. Obviously another bike within this class is Yamaha's Tracer 700. It is a great bike, but I think this one outstrips it. It's got the triple engine instead of the twin, so you've got more linear power throughout the rev range whenever you need it, it's there. Uh, obviously Triumph has a massive heritage, We're celebrating 120 years this year, so there's a lot of history to pull on and design these bikes around. So this has been my quick review on the Triumph 660. What an amazing bike, perfect for commuting or those longer roads. If you want to come and test it out, please do. We're here at Triumph London in Vauxhall. If you want to come in or give us a call to arrange a test ride, we'll hope to see you soon.